Today we've been looking at names and how, uh, where our names are from and what we know about our names, what new things we've discovered about our names. It's a Zimbabwean name, named after the king of Zimbabwe, called Farah. Do you know what your name means? Did you like the name? Did you think it was quite unusual? Or tail? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. It's because when you're, I remember growing up thinking, thinking about everybody's got those names, and some people at school used to, you know, people, their, their name was taken a myth out because they had an unusual or, or a name that was, you know, wasn't, I don't know, Sarah or John when I was growing up. And then from that, we ask them to uh, choose somebody's name within the group or choose their own name and to create a poem of four lines that didn't have to rhyme or anything, but choose out the interesting facts that they found out about that person and to put them into four lines. And also we talked about how personal a name is and related that, that to writing and how the writers uh, talk about their own experiences they come through their, that comes through their writing. And also we looked at um, placing the different continents on the floor and asking them to place themselves where they feel their heritage is. And we had a very big group of people who were torn between um, countries because their parents were from two or three different countries or but they had four or five different backgrounds. I like learning about different like countries and I actually find it interesting like knowing where everyone else is from because it's sort of handy knowing these things about where you're from and where other people are from. One of the most difficult things was them actually opening up to one another because it's quite personal information that we're asking them from. Um, your heritage, your name, things about your family. Um, I'm a little bit worried about because I'm going to have to talk about my past and that everyone will know and hear me about that kind of nerve wracking. Like my old class, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous or anything because I knew everyone but since we've been split up it's a bit different so I have to get used to the people again. They were a bit shy about the writing exercise. Some people, when we were writing about our names, some people did it really well and wanted to present it. Other people it was quite a painful experience because they're um, feeling quite insecure I think after that first session.